we have, I believe, the next question coming from somebody who unfortunately hasn't transited across to our Zoom call just yet. What what could what could be better than than an audience with me, if I may be so bold? Um, I, I I do. In his defense, I think Patrick was um, called off site um, from his work and sends his sincere apologies. He also sent me the question he'd like to ask you. Okay. And again, it has to do with your art. He wonders if the work of Thomas Gainsborough and the English School of Painters influenced your painting style or technique. Well, you know, I rather admired Gainsborough in my youth, mainly as a colorist, and because Reynolds praised him in his discourses. I remember thinking that the portrait Sir William Boxall made of me when I was 15 looked like a Gainsborough, and I admired its beautifully creamy surface. But uh, as a young artist in Paris, I rejected that style in favor of Courbet's rough realism and impasto approach. But I returned to it when I began painting my Nocturnes of the Thames, which I believe you must admit, have a sort of an exquisite silken quality. And I achieved that look by applying the paint quite thinly, diluting it almost to the consistency of watercolor, which is a distinctly English trait. And this allowed me to work far more quickly. Was I thinking of Gainsborough? Hmm, perhaps. But I was equally influenced by my good friend Albert Moore. And then again, as concerned the traditional English school, I could not countenance the tiresome landscapes of someone like Constable. I recall telling Mortimer Menpes, one of my many young admirers, the Constable must have been a very athletic gentleman to have the energy to paint all those trees and leaves. Mm -hmm.